coming at you from Soap Opera Spy, your number one source for daytime soap spoilers, updates, and more. Hi, General Hospital fans. It's Anne-Marie from Soap Opera Spy with all your hot soap news. Before we get started with your General Hospital spoilers, kindly press that subscribe button below and turn on notifications to make sure you never miss a video from us. Hey, GH fans. Today we have your next two week spoilers. We have everything you need to know about what is going down on GH September 11th to September 22nd. There is going to be wild confessions, stunning encounters, disturbing news, bold steps forward, and a whole lot more. So let's hop right in and start unpacking those spoilers. So these are the general hospital spoilers for the next two weeks. That would be September 11th to September 22nd. And they reveal that some shocking moments are ahead in Port Charles. The week of September 11th to September 15th will bring Spencer Cassadine's romantic gift for Trina Robinson as he tries to show her just how much she means to him. It looks like Spencer will hand over the tiny turtle doves that he's been waiting to give Trina. Since Esme Prince won't be around to interfere in their plans, Trina and Spencer could use this opportunity to make love for the first time. Meanwhile, Sonny Corinthos' arraignment could bring a big twist. Since Sonny doesn't seem all that alarmed about his arrest and this whole situation, he may know the evidence against him isn't going to sink him. What they may have is just coffee, and that's not going to do anything to Sonny. If Sonny set himself up, that would explain why he's acting as cool as a cucumber. This may turn out to be a strategy against Mason Gatlin's boss, who we all know is Cyrus Renault. Regardless, Sonny will have some admission to make that's sure to spark some questions. Carly Spencer will definitely put Sonny through a major grilling session once he confesses whatever he's been up to. Back with Trina Robinson, she'll receive an offer that's too tempting to pass up, and later she'll confide in Jocelyn Jacks so she may spill all the details of her romantic night with Spencer. Over with Gladys Corbin, She'll freak when she hears the news that Cody Bell escaped Ferncliff with Sasha Gilmore. And she sure should be freaking because once Sonny gets on board, Gladys is leaving poor Charles and never coming back. Now Cody will head to a cabin that's tucked away somewhere and let Sasha detox there while they plot their next move. Next, Harris and Chase will grow curious over a clue. So this might involve Violet Finn mentioning something about Gregory Chase's fall or something along those lines. Regardless, Chase will eventually learn about Gregory's ALS thanks to someone surprising. So Violet might tip Chase off to the trouble. Once Chase confronts Gregory, that's when his dad should make the difficult confession. Meanwhile, Drew Kane still needs a plan to get out of Pentonville so he'll work with Carly on a way to make that happen. It seems Carly and Drew will seek Alexis Davis's help with a story at the Invader to highlight Drew's harsh sentence and the judge's bias. Meanwhile, Anna Devane will corner Valentine Cassadine and push for answers. Anna just knows that Valentine is lying to her. Perhaps Anna will mention how she followed Valentine to that vacant house and question who he was meeting with and why. Valentine might have a good explanation if he was actually hoping to buy that house for Anna as a surprise. However, that doesn't explain all the pikeman info that Valentine's been lying about, so a confrontation is surely brewing. As for Martin Gray, he's about to face his worst nightmare when Blair Kramer, played by Cassie DePavia, shows up in Port Charles. Blair is presumably Martin's ex-wife, and it seems like he stole the deceptor idea from her or someone close to her. Martin may have given Lucy Coe just enough of the idea for it to be an issue, 
especially now that Tracy Quartermain has potentially teamed up with Blair on this lawsuit. Eddie Main, a.k.a. Ned Quartermain, recently had a recording session, so he'll keep working on his music career and will ultimately book a new gig during the week of September 18th to September 22nd. Back with Sonny, he'll have a warning for Dex Heller, so we'll see exactly what he wants Dex to be cautious about. Sonny seemingly doesn't know Cyrus is the mysterious boss who's after him yet, but he might find out soon enough and warn Dex about who he's up against. At the cabin hideout, it appears Cody may need some medical help for Sasha while she's detoxing. Sam McCall will need Willow Corintho's assistance, so Willow might secretly come to Sasha's aid since she's a nurse. As for Valentin Cassidyne, he'll struggle to believe what he's seeing when he faces a stunning encounter. There'll be someone Valentin definitely didn't expect to see, so he may be pretty unsettled. It's possible that'll be connected to Blair's arrival if she ends up playing a role in other stories, but it's also possible Valentin will come face to face with someone like an alive Victor Cassidyne or another blast from the past G.H. character. Anna will also receive a visit from someone who rattles her and will hit a roadblock of some sort in the aftermath. Valentin will ultimately track down Dante Falconeri, so will he need Dante's help as a detective or could this involve a favor related to Charlotte Cassidyne? Across town, Curtis Ashford will voice some concerns while Molly Lansing Davis gets some wonderful updates. It sounds like Andrea Gates will be pregnant, so Molly may celebrate the next step of the surrogacy and her path to motherhood. As for Christina Corinthos Davis, she'll befriend someone new. If that turns out to be Andrea, then Molly is sure to blow her top and urge Christina to back off. Other GH spoilers say Trina and Spencer will be excited over something, so it's good that they'll spend more time away from Esme. If they don't wind up making love after Spencer's earlier romantic gesture, then they'll surely do it soon. Drew will also become a target, so he could face some injuries if someone comes after him at Pentonville. It's clear that Drew's situation will get worse instead of better, so he needs to work on scoring his freedom as soon as possible. General Hospital spoilers say the next two weeks will bring some action-packed episodes, so stay tuned. What do you think, General Hospital fans? What are you looking forward to seeing most the week of September 11th to September 22nd? Hit the comments and let us know your thoughts. And meanwhile, stick with us for all the up-to-date sizzling General Hospital spoilers. Make us your top General Hospital source by pressing that subscribe button below. Please turn on notifications. And if you like our video, give us a like by pressing the like button. See you next time.